Hello. Uh, we are looking at uh, CPA foundational level information communication technology. This is a paper done in December 2022 afternoon. So we want to start looking at question one. So the question says state four disadvantages of implementing information system in an organization. So the disadvantages of setting up uh, an information system in an organization uh, organization is as follows one cost and expenses so implementing an information system must always come uh, with cost because there are there are software licenses to be acquired you have to acquire hardware the staff need to be trained there must be implementation and also there must be maintenance of the system hardware and even software so it comes with cost so this it is costly over the long term the second answer would be complexity and learning curve so information system is complex sometimes to implement depending on the type of information system so the people the users of this information system needs to be trained so this uh, training could sometimes take time and sometimes if they are not properly trained their productivity can also reduce and again, remember the employees can also resist this change that comes due to the change in, in implementation systems. So we have complexity and learning curve. And also we have data security and uh, privacy concern. So information systems, uh, they are used to store some very sensitive data within an organization. So this data include uh, things like customer data. So this data, if they are not properly taken care of if they are not secured they can become vulnerable to those uh, that might have uh, wrong intention like cyber attackers so this can lead to what we call data breaches and 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 unauthorized access where other people who are not not authorized to use this data uh, uh, can access them and uh, this compromises the, uh, the 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 data and also the reputation and also the customers can now lose trust with the organization because of such a data breach the fourth disadvantage is resistance to change and organizational culture so remember employees and management sometimes are used to uh, they're used to the ways of doing things within the organization they are used to uh, the, the protocols that are applied before these changes are brought in so for some time they would resist such systems because they will change their work processes and also they will this these this systems will disturb their their culture so this resistance is also a disadvantage then question b says explain five computer hardware components that are required when establishing a multimedia platform for e-commerce so multimedia platform uh, for e-commerce remember e-commerce is uh, uh, a system uh, that is used for electronic uh, or, uh, buying and selling or electronic commerce so there might be elements of video audio and uh, and uh, other images high definition images and even uh, uh, video encoding so we need hardware such as high performance processors what we call cpu the cpu is the brain of the computer it's the one that does the actual processing of data into information so for a multimedia e-commerce platform we need a very powerful multi-core processor 200 tasks that uh, uh, include maybe graphics uh, video contents and even even managing uh, simultaneous user interaction with the with the with the e-commerce system. Again, we need what we call graphic processing units, the GPU. So the graphical use uh, uh, processing unit is used for handling multimedia content. For example, we have images and even video, high definition images and videos. So these uh, GPUs uh, uh, are are up optimized, particularly to handle tasks uh, such as video encoding or even uh, image processing uh, another element that is important uh, uh, there under the computer hardware is 
high resolution display so a high res resolution display could include something like a monitor a touch screen device this was only uh, ensures that the multimedia content is presented with clarity and detail it is important for customers when they want to make informed decision when purchasing based on what they are seeing uh, presented so we need high resolution display we also need large storage solution for example we, we know that multimedia content for example the images we are talking about the video and even the audio uh, the audio context consume some very uh, uh, large amount of space so this uh, storage capacity must always be high for example we can have things like uh, solid state uh, storage medium uh, for example a uh, hard disk uh, flash disk or even network attached storages so these ones are uh, very important for managing these files efficiently lastly we may need network infrastructure why because uh, we know uh, that uh, this platform is anchored on a network it could be on a website so to run this e-commerce platform we need a robust network infrastructure for example we need a high speed internet connectivity we need routers we need switches and even we need uh, uh, some uh, uh, security uh, devices to filter and even to monitor our computer networks then question c uh, says uh, using an example explain how one would use goal seek function in a business so a goal uh, a goal seek function is a function in a spreadsheet that helps in making a projection for example you are using a, a, a spreadsheet and you want to for example find out uh, based on a particular input when the output will be in a particular level that you desire for example this is a case scenario where you are dealing with a business and in your business you have the following uh, you have the following units for example you have you, you have units sold selling price per unit total revenue variable cost per unit total variable cost total cost and profit and you want to make a projection you want to determine or you want to predict at what time you your company or your organization will meet what we call a a, a breakthrough or a break even so a break even is a point where you neither make profit or no loss so assuming that those are the columns that you have in your spreadsheet you want to calculate the break even point uh we say that this is a point where maybe uh, when you're calculating the selling price this will be the total revenue and then the uh, the variable cost per unit you you uh, and and also the total variable cost then to get the profit or loss under the profit or loss you'll get a zero profit and a zero loss it means that at that point you neither make profit nor loss you reach a break even so if that is our example then what happens is that you can start by entering different values for, for example for the column unit sold and uh, in that column and calculate the corresponding profit and loss in, in, a, in that column that contains profit and loss then now you go and find for this goal seek function so goal seek function is, is under functions in excel if you're using excel spreadsheet then under goal seek function you will find a function called what if analysis and then under what if analysis we have a goal seek function then you set you must set the, the cell containing the profit and loss so in this case we assume the cell is cell g that is the the identity of the cell and then set this the value to zero because we want a break a break even point we say that in a break even point uh, the profit and the loss will be zero the profit or loss will be zero so set that uh, set the, the value of the of, of that uh, of, of the if uh, the if analysis to zero then set the changing cell so that is the, the cell uh, containing the unit sold value so the unit uh, sold value in our case is in a so now the excel uh, goal seek function will adjust the value in cell a until the value in cell, in, in cell g where we have profit and loss become approximately or, or, or zero it becomes zero so after it has become zero 
you'll get the exact number of units you need to to sell to to get to break the even so this value is the one that makes the profit and loss zero so you can use that information uh, as a company or as an organization to to, to make an uh, informed decision whether we want to do pricing strategy or, or, or you want to look at the volume of, of the sales you have to make. And then question D says, explain three uh, problems that could be encountered when using computerized accounting software. So as we know, computerized accounting software uses both uh, software and hardware. So software and hardware generally or technology generally have technical, they can come up with technical issues and even errors. For example, our softwares are prone to error. So computerized accounting software relies on this technology and, uh, and, and sometimes can, can have um, some small errors that can be corrected or even some big errors that uh, can only bring down the entire system. Two is lack of user training and expertise. So we know that efficient use of this accounting software requires some adequate uh, understanding of, of how to use these softwares so, so that uh, the result is optimal. So if users uh, are not properly trained or they don't have a proper background in accounting, uh, they, if they use this software, they might end up misinterpreting, uh, generating misinterpreting reports or giving wrong reports altogether or because it, the output of the data depends on the input of the, of the data because sometimes these accounting softwares have complicated dashboard and even some formulas that need uh, particular attention or training. Again, we have security and data bit concern. So remember we are storing financial uh, uh, records we sometimes are also sensitive into these accounting softwares. So sometimes this this uh, this data could be potential target for cyber attackers, and, and 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 this will lead to data breaches. So if this software that we are using uh, for accounting is not properly secured, there are people who can access them with ill motives, and this would bring uh, uh, loss to our business data. So this can also even lead to reputational damage and even uh, legal abilities.